Travis begins dive training to play board games underwater, surrounded by sharks. After six hours of taking a course online yesterday, I feel fully prepared to be able to get into a pool, a small swimming pool here in Los Angeles. With my first time actually physically going underwater with a set of scuba gear. And we're going to try and see if I can manage not to drown. Of course, if I do drown, the journey ends here, which means no sharks. The upside is no sharks. If you notice, I'm, I'm in what they call a what? A rash guard. A rash guard. You put this on and you think, am I doing something rash? So what I'm practicing today, because, this, because I'm a newbie, is I'm practicing with a mask and a snorkel. Uh, when we dive with the sharks, I'm gonna have a completely different headset so that I can talk and you can hear me scream when the sharks are coming here. I'm not worried about picking up a chit. I'm worried about cards. Trying to manipulate cards with thin gloves. They want your hands covered because whenever they do shark feeds, they're giving pieces of fish that are about this size usually. Even to a 10 foot shark, um, for me and you, it'd be like eating a potato chip. You want Anything that doesn't make my hands look like chips. So here's what you're gonna need to practice with the games because the games are gonna flow. Sure. And the sharks are gonna probably go at that. Oh, that's what I wanna hear. So the problem is they have to make me neutrally buoyant. And because I'm so naturally buoyant, I gotta use a lot of weights to make me neutrally buoyant. Spit in there. Sure. Just spit in there. Just rub it around really good. Okay. You notice when Leaf jumped out of a plane, he didn't have to spit on anything he was gonna then wear. <laughs> Just wanna point that out. <laughs> Sir. Yeah. Woo! That last step is a doozy. By the way, what are you what are you doing with this thing so that it doesn't where, where are you putting this when you're when it's not on? It, it's in my mouth. Oh no, no, it is. It, so you just put it in Okay. It's rule number one, don't so, try to breathe underwater without equipment. We'll only be able to communicate through hand signals. Sure. So the most basic symbols are okay, okay. not okay. Not okay. And those really tell the whole story for almost everything that's going on. Eight minutes later, What is the hand signal for a shark? Okay. <laughs> so if I see somebody doing that. I'm having a little bit of a panic attack right now. That became very unfunny real quick. <laughs> Long story short, <clears throat> we've discovered that I'm a little bit out of shape. And by a little bit, I mean completely. Uh, so I'm going to train for one month uh, on a treadmill, uh, and I'm gonna try and actually lose some weight. Uh, but more importantly, I'm going to get my endurance up. Uh, and then we're gonna get back in the pool and try this again. Uh, we're not going to Catalina in two days. That's not happening. Uh, but we, we, and we'll push this off probably for a good solid month and then we'll see where we are there. I don't know why, but I'm feeling panicky. Well, before you go anywhere, hit that like button and subscribe because that's the only way you're gonna be here when Travis gets eaten by a shark and you're gonna wanna see that. So stick around.